I'm not paid to be a role model. And I'm paid to wreak havoc on the basketball court. Here's the pass to Leitner. Puts it up. Yes! Is it the shoes? I was going to rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. One of the world's most talented athletes is retiring. It is true what somebody said today. There was Babe Ruth and Muhammad Ali and Michael Jordan and Wayne Gretzky. Gretzky in front. Saved by Clarity. The rebound. Star! Barnes just threw it perfectly right over him to Corey Bradford. Only Brett Favre could do that. I don't care what you say. This is WHPC Sports Talk on the voice of Nassau Community College 90.3 WHPC. Game on! Game on! Y'all know what time it is. It is Friday. It's a special Friday in New York, though. New York sports fans. It's the Friday before the winter sports playoff seasons. That's the Knicks, Nets, Rangers, Islanders. If you're a Devils fan, man, it's a it's a huge day. And WHBC Sports Talk is here to break it all down. As always, here on the Voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. It is Joshua Umahi as your host. Joined by Corey David and Nico Weech. Woo! Gentlemen, how are we doing? I'm doing good. I, you know, I can't wait for the Saturday, you know. I mean, tomorrow. I can't wait for tomorrow, basically, you know, see what, see what my Knicks do. All right, Nico, how are we doing? Nico, you I'm happy? doing great. I played golf today. Ah, uh, you actually did play golf. Uh, yeah, I went with uh, Justin Greenberg. Ah, the what a guy. guy. Like, you actually did, like, a full, like, what? 18 holes. It was fun. Uh, it was a good time. I was, like, he that? beat me. He beat you? Yeah. Damn, Justin, nice like that? Yeah, I had two really bad holes. It was rough. Damn. Who yeah. Have you played golf before that? I was varsity for four years. I still got to learn how to play the game. <laughs> it was fun. I thought you would have learned already. You was talking about that last uh, last year. <laughs> nah, golf is a tricky game. <laughs> <laughs> that it is. That it is. Well, I'm happy we're all doing well here. I'm sorry you didn't win, Nico. It's all right. But uh, if Justin <laughs> wants to call up and brag, or if anybody wants to call up and talk about whatever they want to talk about in the world of sports, 516-572-7440. That is the number to join the show. Talk about anything your heart desires. I'll probably let you within reason. Oh, anything? Well, it's funny you bring that up, Josh. I said within it's reason. It's funny that you start that. Uh, oh. Yo, Corey, I got a question for you. I don't see anyone listening. Osama bin Laden, right? <laughs> they threw his dead body. It's crazy that you played the explosion sound. That's wild. Yeah, it's not my, it's not my uh, brightest moment. No, nah, no. Nah. They threw his body off that Navy ship, whatever. Why? What was the point of that? It don't make sense. I think they still have his body. I think they just threw a big pile of bricks. You know what? I question anything that the government is selling me. I got to side with Nico here. That don't make sense. Why are you throwing the body away? Yeah, I, 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 like this bro devastated our lives. He, he, he's the reason we have TSA. Hey, yo, like, I, I, I just want to say, right when you think you got the answers, Nico just switches the question. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'm getting ready for you know, people talk about playoffs, talk about well, you know, I need a team. This, you know. Anything like that, he just gonna just drop a whole other question. I'm like, I feel like Kevin Hart right now. Like, wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I you think see, it's a fair question. It, it really makes you think, though. I like a good thought provoking question to start the show. It just don't make sense. That's right. something you ask of it, though, I think. <laughs> nah, everything's fair game. I don't, not everything, but like, <laughs> not everything. That's a no. fair, that's fair game. The people need answers. Though. They do. It, doesn't, it don't make sense. Uh, like you could have done like something like crazy, like burn uh, him in front of everyone. Like uh, that would have been the vibe. <laughs> that, it don't make sense. Uh, hey, you know the one thing I am mad that I missed this week. I really want to know. I really wanted to know what the discussion was like with the OBJ situation this week. When y'all, which I talked to, how y'all talked about it. Well, honestly, it wasn't that crazy. It wasn't. It wasn't. I mean, what, you got some crazy thoughts on it. Nah, play? nothing crazy. I was just. I, I'm happy that he went to Baltimore, but I'm, I'm hoping that Lamar plays. But he ain't my, my thing is, I think the story would have been better if you went to New York. Not the Jets, but 
any other team would have been a better story, I think. Because I can guarantee you right now, Lamar's not playing for the Ravens next year. He was just getting his boy the bag. That's it. They don't have the money now to get him. They screwed. It's, it's interesting. Now he's still playing on attack. No, nah, it's interesting Nico brings that up because I, I've heard everybody say, and I said this yesterday, oh, you know, Odell Beckham's not coming to Baltimore unless he knows he's playing with Lamar Jackson. But I'm like, yo, $15 million guarantee got nothing to do with that. You know, when nothing? That, when that, you know the, you know the, you know the most ironic thing about this situation? I know, I know we got to get to our topics about New York um, sports, but is the fact that they did everything to avoid the Deshaun Watson contract with Lamar Jackson, right? But then wind up doing the same situation as the Deshaun co- contract with Lamar, uh, with uh, OBJ because remember with the situation like that is he didn't want oh, he didn't want to go to Cleveland right but Cleveland desperately needed a QB so they overpaid everybody knows receivers really don't want to go to Baltimore and in order to entice them you gotta overpay so you basically did and you basically drastically overpaid a receiver. In order to get somebody who could be considered number one, but even though he has a prior injury history, it's interesting, you know, Odell Beckham, and it's, it's definitely, and we talked about the three million dollars OBJ can get in incentives yesterday, but interesting deal. We'll see what it really means in the long run in terms of how it affects Lamar Jackson. We'll see. We'll see. We might discuss that a little further uh, Josh, later like, in the show. I like the I like the whole New York fit. Yeah, you know what? I got the the lucky hat on. I got the lucky jersey. Now, this hat in particular, it's a little crusty, a little worn down, but it's a lucky hat. I had to wear it today before the Knicks get their first-round playoff series underway in Cleveland tomorrow, 6 p.m. I can't wait to see it. Man, we're going to hit that music real quick. Y'all know what it is. I did, uh, I did, the New York Knicks are back in the playoffs, baby. We are the New York Knicks. Go, we Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. Go, Brooklyn. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> This is it's a it's a Knicks town. It was never a Nets town. I know the Nets got the little playoff game tomorrow as well, but they're gonna lose. They will. Yeah. They, everybody everybody knows what's going on with Brooklyn. Like they're not supposed to be there. You ever seen that picture? Like it's like a bunch of like military guys. It's like a clown. It's like the teams are supposed to be stuff, ah. and somebody is who's the outlier. It would be Brooklyn Nets. Well, yeah, KD and Kyrie did all the leg work, and then Kyrie wanted out, and then KD, who can't think for himself, he's like, I want out too. And then the funny thing about the Kuzma Spencer Dinwiddie beef we talked about earlier in the week, Kuzma pointed out like, "Yo, why are you bragging if you're Spencer Dinwiddie about a playoff spot?" KD and Kyrie did all the work for you. Well, well, you just got the answers to the test. Well, yeah. well, Kuzma ain't the person to be talking about that because it's like, brother, you still living off that ring that you was just on the team with. I mean, they both look goofy, but I'll, I'll give the win to Kuzma. Uh, Kuzma. He was cutting his ass, bro. I'll, I'll, the, I wish I could say the the magnum opus that that Din. Ooh, I wish I could say Din Ishi. Din Ishi. Yeah, I guess that's what we got to do. <laughs> the only thing that really got him was when he tried to say he tried to say Kuzma was like Rick Fox, and the Rick Fox was like, wait, wait, wait. I I was a captain on my team. <laughs> so who's Rick Fox? Like he tried to basically jaw rule him. He was like, "No." Rick Fox said, "Me." He said, "He said I am him. I was a captain." <laughs> hey man, NBA playoffs this time of year. Not just the the intensity of the games kick up, but the drama too. Just all the stories around it. And before I get to the playoffs and the series against the Cavs with the Knicks, and is Julius Randle going to play? What's the you know keys to victory for the Knicks? I have to start with this. So I'm going to start with the Dallas Mavericks and Mark Cuban. Oh, the, 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 AKA Mr. I'm, look, I, we should. I, it's not fair that I couldn't get a chance at uh, Jalen Brunson because his dad got hired by the Knicks. Yeah, it, he's a clown. I mean, we talked about it all week, this week and last week, just losing Jalen Brunson when you could have signed him for $55 million over four years. That's crazy. He signs for four years, 107 with the Knicks. Then... I, I I think we could all admit that if he was on the Mavs, like they're definitely going, they're definitely like in the playoffs. Like yeah, they're top six seed. Yeah, but you know that that's you know tough for them. Then they have to go all in losing Brunson. They have to go all in on Kyrie Irving. Mm-hmm. That didn't work out. And then towards the end of the season, when you're still alive for playoff positioning and you could still sneak into the play-in with two games left, what does Mark Cuban do? Sits everybody. Everybody got to hit the bench. Tells Jason Kidd, yo, sit everybody. We're not trying to win these last couple games. And then they lost. And then why is that relevant in New York sports? People might ask. Well, 
the Mavericks pick is top ten protected. If it if the Mavericks finish with a record above tenth worst in the league, the Knicks would get that pick. In all likelihood, it's not guaranteed, but in all likelihood that would happen. So Mark Cuban, knowing that, he had a choice to make. He was like, do I want my organization to go all in for a playing spot, win two games, get to the playoffs, or do I just want to you know, mail it in and, and send everybody home uh, early and, a, and, and save my pick? And be a true player hater. <laughs> it, it's, and obviously they lost with no Luka, no Kyrie, no team. But you know, they the, lost. The NBA was like, well, oh, wait, y'all, y'all sitting too many players out. Like, Luka, er, everybody? Like even the people that was the tra- even tra- even like the trash players in the starting lineup was like, wait, you let him sit? Okay, now we gotta look at this, and that's why they was under investigation. Yup, and like you said, the investigation. So literally the next day after the Mavericks pulled that stuff, Adam Silver and the NBA league office announced that they're gonna investigate the Dallas Mavericks. I'm thinking, you know, it would be perfect justice. For Adam Silver, who who has repeatedly been on the record of hating tanking. Take away their draft pick. Give it to the Knicks. I like that. I, I like I like your way of thinking. Why not? Give it to the Knicks. I mean, if you really hate tanking and tanking is the worst thing ever and you want and let's let's call it for what it is. The Mavericks laughed in, in your face about your precious play in tournament. That's what they did. And then they tanked all in one. That's that's a double edged sword right there, is what I like to call it. So I thought that would be an appropriate punishment, but no, nope, Adam Silver is no spine. Like seven hundred fifty k, seven hundred and fifty k. Mark Cuban pisses on that amount of money every day. <laughs> that's sa- that's pathetic. I I can't with that. It's like that's it. Okay. <laughs> I I I'm, I get I get what I get what they're trying to do, but I felt as though there should have been more of a punishment just on the fact that, like I said, they were undermining the integrity of the game. And like I can understand like certain players sitting out, like you sitting out, Lu- uh, Luca, Kyrie. Maybe Tim Hardaway Jr. But uh, sitting so out, everybody you like, no. Nah, certain people was like, certain people you just had to be like, y- it's, it don't make no sense. So I'm, I'd have been like, yeah, I would have definitely done something because I feel like this is like very Bill Belichick ish. <laughs> I was like, you know, the, the NFL ain't, is always quick to take a pick from them when they find out like the Patriots are cheating. Yo, I mean, Goodell got some dog in him. <laughs> I'll, I'll give Roger Goodell credit for that. He got some dog in him. But Adam Silver, I haven't seen it. He came into his job. Yeah, Remember the it, first it, thing he did when he got the commissioner he got, job? He got that puppy in him. <laughs> Ew. Well, hey, yo. Huh? Hey, yo. That's not it. How's that, hey, yo? Uh-oh. There's a puppy in him? Puppy. A dog. A do- that's, that's a little... Mm. Come on now. That's a little... Mm. That, that's a little silly, not, Corey. That's not an A.O. It's a little silly. Yeah, but it's not an A.O. So, I mean... <laughs> Josh agrees. Hey, man. <laughs> you got it's like to be, you rather be safe than sorry, bro. Gen Z is always gay enough when we on the air. Wow, you're being yeah. ageist. That's crazy. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I hope you step on a Lego. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, crazy. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's just, yeah. that's just mean. Nah, I can't co-sign that. That's just wait, Corey. You're old, right? Me too. Did you have a Tamagotchi? What is, what, what, no. What is that? No, you don't. Never mind. Tamagotchi. Do I? Why does that sound familiar? It's like those little keychain games. Uh, key, keychain games. Oh they yeah. Had like a little pet that you had to take care of every day. Oh, what I used that? to see them joined to Toys R Us all the yeah. time. Yeah. Corey looks like he would kill it on the first day. Huh? You said uh, like, uh, what? You would kill your Tamagotchi on the first day. Nah, nah I'd be you. <laughs> you ever had a pet uh, goldfish? Pet goldfish? No. What? No. Uh, am I yeah. in a sit? Did you judge? Am I in of a course sit- I did. Yeah, Everyone had one. Boring, am I in a sitcom or something? No. A sit? What? You know my? You know what my first? You know what my first pet was? Do I have a laugh track in here? It was a. It was a, it was a Rottweiler. Oh. It was named. It was named after. It was named after my. It was named after my parents' job. His name was Rikers. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he was big. He was, <laughs> It was a large. It was a large dog. Yeah. Is he still with us? No. Hell. Uh, wow. You wanna you wanna get a funny thing is how he escaped. How, how did he escape? Did you do it? No. Did you let him go? Yeah, he because he's I, I guess he he like we had like a kind of like a truck in a way of like to make sure like he wouldn't go out. Mm-hmm. Kind of moved the truck a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> 
You did that? No, he moved the truck a little. Oh, he moved the truck. Wow. Yeah. That's a strong ass dog. Yeah. What would you feed in that thing? <laughs> no, I guess he was one of them, a dog that was like saved, you know, like a dog that was saved from like prior incidents. Yeah. And I guess he used to be a fight. I guess he used to be a fighting dog. <laughs> so he, he only had that Did dog you ever fight him? Yeah. Huh? Did you ever no, fight your dog? No, he was rescued. Now, nah, but, but, nah, Corey's not fighting dogs. But no, the thing is, though, no, the, 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 the story is that he was so kind that the first person that he seen, he just hopped in the van with him. Easily trusting dog. <laughs> <laughs> not ideal. Wait, not wait, ideal. hold on. Did I, wait, I, he jumped into another person's car? Yeah, like he was, so he just he left was, you guys. This was that trustworthy. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like y'all, bro. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you saw him? Man, that was when I was like a kid, kid. I was Damn. like, that's. If I had to say, have you moved on since? Yeah, yeah, I had a couple dogs. I had a couple dogs. Still got a dog. I have two now. Rottweilers. They mix with some. Nah, I think I think they mix. They like they pits and mix with something else. Uh, I I, no, I don't know like their whole DNA. Don't but let I them think... hang out with McVic. You don't want that. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Do you think Vic has any dogs? No. Right now? Yeah. No. I'm intrigued. I, I, I'd like to think that he rebranded. Like, a is he allowed bit? to have another dog? That's actually a good question. Like, what if that's that. actually like a. a Getting out of jail, like, rule, like, you can't have a dog out of here. Like, there's no way we're letting you have a dog <laughs> after what you did. No question, right? This is this doesn't have to do with that, but it has to do with, like, the playoffs, right? With Memphis with Memphis playing the Lakers coming up, right? Yes. It's a parade inside my city, yeah! Yo, what do you feel like is going to be one of the, like, the most, like, the, I want to say their weakness. Like, they're coming into that game. Because I feel like it's immaturity. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is about Memphis. Memphis is cursed, man. <laughs> Memphis is cursed. They won't get bitched out. Yo, every time an af- it seems like all the athletes that's going there, they try to be like YB or something. Cause you see Mikey Williams out there, out here wilding. He even skip Bayless. It's a parade inside my city. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you heard about you heard about that. <laughs> what what about that? Mikey Williams. Yeah, yeah. Yo, he messed up, bro. Five, five counts with a five five. I was like with a deadly weapon. I'm like, he's done. Four like, years in prison. He's gone. I'm like, you you done. You took you took Jai handbook and took it to a whole nother. You was only committed to go to Memphis. You know, I say this all the time. You usually want to make it out the hood, right? <laughs> all these players trying to make it in the hood. Hey, like, look, yo, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get in there. Like, they looking at it from a, a see, distance. You, like, yo, you, I, you see, you look, that's my place right you there. See, you see, what's he about to make his return next season? Who would that be? And B Miles Bridges. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> another big, thing. The big wolf. <laughs> Yo, the NBA went 0 for 2 today because I'm talking about the, the slap on the wrist that Dallas Mavs got. How do you suspend Miles Bridges and say, okay, you, first off, you suspended him 30 games. But he did 20, so he only spent it for 20. How did he do 20? He was a free agent. He, <laughs> he wasn't on a team. <laughs> how, how, does he, how did he already <laughs> serve 20 games? How does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, the, if, yo the, I ain't gonna lie though. Why do I like it? Why do I like this little lawlessness of a little bit? Like, what's the next side? I feel like Dragon Ball Z. Oh, I'm next on Dragon Ball Z. Like, you find out, like, Ja with his incident, Mikey Williams with his situation. you like, what's gonna happen to the next crop of players? Like, who's gonna wild out? What's gonna happen in this playoff series with the Memphis Grizzlies going to LA? Are they gonna be able to hold, um, be mature enough to win this series? Because I feel like they have enough talent to win it. They definitely do. They definitely do. But yeah, they're a, they're a young dumb team. They really are. I mean, <laughs> there's a there's a bunch of them right now. There's a bunch of teams out here that look they could get hit with that Rico. <laughs> I don't know if the team I have in mind is gonna get hit with a Rico, but I mean, Minnesota. Uh, if, Yo, if if, if, the, if the Miami Heat don't win to if the Miami Heat don't win tonight, Jimmy Butler might get hit with one because after all the promises that he was talking about, oh, it's gonna be an easy dub and we gonna go, man. <laughs> Yo, as soon as y'all got a washed up Kyle Lowry, it was over for y'all. Kyle Lowry was the best player on the floor in the playing game. He was. He had 33 points. <laughs> he left. He knows what it takes to win a championship, Corey. That's a fact. That's a fact. Raptors fan over here. He mm-hmm. knows. He knows. You know. You got, the boys got carried. 
Kawhi was they Michael Jordan and everybody you know, else. You know, they, that's you know, a good. That's, you bring up a good like conversation. I think that team would have won with Demar that year. I think you, if Kawhi was there you, for more you, seasons, they would have had more feel, championships. You know but one like, year, I think Demar could have done it. You know it. what I feel like was the main difference between Demar and the, uh, Kawhi's year was one man was not in that conference. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, though. Oh, so you think LeBron leaving yeah. would have, you I know... Mean, like, the LeBron, Raptors were, like, the second-best team for, like, four straight yeah, years. Uh, as soon as, as, soon as, as, fact, soon as LeBron, soon as LeBron left, it was like, the, the East is open. <laughs> Like he had, for real, like he had a lock on it for like at least four to five years. Kawhi could have won like three or four championships if he if just he, stayed in Toronto. Thank you so much for saying that. I don't know why he left. Uh, I don't know why he left wait, for the Clippers. You, and you know what? He made it sound like Toronto is such a bad city to live in. Time out. Oh, Toronto. Time out, bro, Toronto's like a way nicer New York city, bro. What I, are we talking I, I, about? Get it twisted. Listen, <laughs> Toronto, nice. Listen, I would say that if the if, if the fact that if KD still left, K, if KD stays with Golden State. That still and don't it, make sense either. I don't know why he left. I ain't gonna lie to you. Sure. If those injuries don't happen to Golden State, Toronto's not winning the ring. Toronto's not winning. That nah, ring. I, I think they still win the ring. Well, it hey, would have been. It would have been a tougher series, you know, but I think they still win it. You know who was like the to me like the craziest player off that team was that year? Danny Green. No. Jeremy Lin. Fred Van Fleet. Fred Van Fleet when he had the baby. Yo, he was going he off. He turned into a, a yo, he, goddamn superhero when yo, he had he was, that baby. Yo, he was like, yo, I'm hit, he was hitting everything. Like, mm-hmm. shot, he was just banking in, like, shots that you didn't think he was expected to make. I was like, what? That was like, it, it was like Prom Ray Allen for a second. I'm like, how are you doing this? Yo, <laughs> Steph Curry was scared to guard that man. I seen it. That's how, that's how good he was. I, I that seen Raptors it. Team he, was so good. He did not want no part. He did not want no part. I was like this. They last hope was Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson almost gave him that game four. Uh, like a game, was it a game five? Game six, Clay. Yeah, he, gave him, he almost. If his if his knee would never gave out on him, he would have. He he definitely would have led him to another game. Oh no, his knee. <laughs> oh, we're not doing this from yesterday. I'm not gonna hold you. I was for real celebrating when that happened. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. You Corey, was, you want to know? You've never been in a championship, you know, series in the NBA, so you wouldn't know. You don't know what's like to cheer for a team in the championship. I do. No, nah, not in the NBA. What? what are you talking about? Like cheer for? What do you mean? What like, am I talking like, about? Like, like the finals? Yeah, you don't know what it's like to cheer for that. Who was your team in the finals? The Toronto? Was, yeah, I'm a Raptors Knicks fan. I was a Raptors fan before I was a Knicks fan. Well, I technically do because, you know, my, my side my side person slash team. Is Le- ball? No, LeBron. It was, Le- it was always been, ah. it's always been LeBron. Well, where he at, fan? <sighs> Or wherever hey, he at, the fam. toilet bowl. Wherever he go, I go. <laughs> but no, nah, yo, look, look, I just put it like this. This, this is how much of this, how, this is how much I was like rooting for the like the the Cavs to win that year when they won it. I placed the I, pl- I placed the what is it? Futures uh, bet. I think a, a hundred or two hundred dollar bet on the Golden State Warriors, knowing that I'm hoping for the Cavs to win. But I'm hedging my bet that if the I'm hedging my bet. Emotional hedging. Yes. And hoping like every game, I'm praying for the Cavs. I'm hoping to lose this money. I'm. I, we'll, we'll re, re, repeat that last sentence. For I me, was please. hoping to lose this money because you sound like I, an idiot. I, I needed. I needed. I needed. <laughs> I, needed look, talk about, I needed LeBron to win. I needed LeBron to win this championship. I was. T- I was tired of that team. He was hoping. No, no. Let me ask hoping a question to everybody. To lose money. Let me ask a question to everybody. Right, callers, if you want to get in five one six five seven two seven four four zero. If my if I bet against my favorite team, and it's like okay, what comes first, your team or your money? I don't play with my money. N- number one, I would never bet against the Knicks or the the Mets or anything like that. You just because I no, I, I, I would. I bet against the Mets during the playoffs. I, 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 <laughs> that, that actually was a, a good bet. I've done yeah, that. I've done, that. I've done that. that. I, just, I still do that a little bit, but not to like that degree. I will bet like maybe like five dollars, like for like say, say I need. Julius Randle like to have a big game. I'll bet low, <laughs> hoping that he has high. So what about this? Say it's uh it's the last second of the game. 97-96 Cleveland. Knicks have the ball. You bet on Julius Randle to go over 20 points. He got 19 points, <laughs> but he has the ball. Give it to Brunson. <laughs> <laughs> no, no Randle has the ball. That's a hypothetical. What do you want to happen? Want to see him make the shot for the win? Say it's a game seven, too. Oof. Say you have like a three Gs on it. You said I have him going over? Yeah. yeah. No, no, under. 
I have him going under. You have him going under, yeah. Okay, then, yeah, I want to make the shot. What? So I, I, he didn't, I would want the Knicks to win. What? Say, okay, say it's like 9 Gs. Oh, 9 Gs? Yeah. Say you had, like, it's the last leg of, like, a 20-leg parlay. Are they in the NBA Finals? <clears throat> no. This oh, is, regu- is this a regular game? First round. First round. First first round. round. I don't know about that. Now, if it's the NBA Finals, oh, I, if it's the NBA Finals, I, I, I'll take that. I need if if, if it was a, I need if, a nine if it was game if it was game on the line. I that's fair know, though. I don't know what I would give up to have the Knicks win a, cha- a championship. Ooh, that's that's a good question. Would I give up nine grand <laughs> for Knicks? I would honestly. I would. I would too. I've been I've been in pain I, for so long. Oh, no, I, you would not. We have, I would. I really Josh, would. Nine grand. Nine grand. For Knicks, yo, nine you know how thousand. You bro, know how you could use that nine thousand to go to playoff games next season. You know how I feel about a Knicks chip, nine though. Grand. Oh, not, you can get season you, tickets you, for nine you grand. Not realize, <laughs> do you not realize the last time the, with the last time the Knicks won a championship? Josh was not even like no, you an, was not. You, you were not. You were not. Yeah, you were not even <laughs> like even thought of. I wasn't even thought of. No, you were thought of. No, my parents. <laughs> no, my, pa- my pops was yo they, yo they, yo. Stephen A. Smith was two years old when the last time the uh, Knicks won a championship. My dad was five. 1973? Was it 19? What? Wait, second. Well, that's triple 74, no? Whoa. 74? Was it not? I think. It say? was 73, yeah. Uh-huh. So my dad was four. Yeah, I'm try- I was like, I'm trying try to calculate that. I'm like, Don't. What? Just leave it alone. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's 31 plus 23? No, I think my dad. No, no, no. I'm trying to think about how old my pops was. Oh. My pop had to have been like 10. So he was born in 63. Yo, Corey can't do basic math. He's 28. <laughs> Bro goes to college. Can't do basic math. You have a calculator. I do not have a calculator. You have a phone, my which phone, means you my have phone a calculator. Is, my phone is dead. My Your phone's phone is, dead? My phone is dead. First world problems. <laughs> I can't. Yo, I, I need a second, bro. I need you have fingers might, on your we hands. Might need, we might need to <laughs> count with your fingers. You have 10. Figure it out. <laughs> Pen and paper right there. <laughs> it's not that hard. I got it. Wait, I got it. Yeah? Yo, Corey, do you need a second to get a charger from the in the back? <laughs> I think you might need oh, to get I'm a glass of water. Do, I'm not going to do that. We live one in. I mean, it, it takes, there's a charger right in the uh, break room, bro. Yeah. You can go and grab I'm it. You got I'm it. Good. No, no, go. We don't want you. I'm bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, all right. Let me remind everybody that you're listening to WHPC Sports Talk here on the Voice of Nassau Community <laughs> College, ninety point three WHPC. Joshua Yamahi joined by Corey David and Nico each five one six five seven two seven four four zero. Call up, talk to us. Whew, deep breaths. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to transition <laughs> to the next. let's do the hockey. No, yeah, no, 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 no. let's do the hockey. <laughs> I got questions for Corey. You want no, to? No, 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 not me. The, the, We're doing like, NHL history today with like, you, Corey. Like, I think I'm. I, I think I'm interested. What's in like, like, Don't ask black men about no hockey. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the key. I'm gonna give you the key. I'm gonna give you. What the hell is that? I'm gonna give. You, I'm gonna give. You, I'm gonna give you the key. I'm gonna give you the key. I'm gonna give you the key. Sean Johnson answer. We we little just like just like Chance oh. the Rapper. That would be me. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, where'd you get that money from? What was that? <laughs> you just be throwing new things in there. Every I day. really do. I really do. I really do. It's good. It's. Uh, I think it's good radio, though. You want to hear it again? Funny as hell. You want to hear it again? <laughs> What's the name of this sound effect? Uh, game show correct. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what game show that's from. But uh, now, nah, Corey, on the real, on the real, on the real. So, the Knicks, right? You, what do you expect from? them in terms of Julius Randle's availability because what we've heard all week has kind of been like I feel like they're just blowing fluff up our ass a word yeah you think he's gonna play or not play? there's no concern for me there I think he has a chance I think he has a chance I think he has a chance to play a huge I- shit it's just an angle spring it's not like he did he, did he break anything did he nope wait oh yo, why are like NBA players so weak these days Okay, you, hey, let's you, talk about it. They're really let's, playing like bitches. Like, let's, let's take it. But you know what? The funniest thing about that is you got Paul George out here saying that it'd be easier for an NBA player to make it to the NFL than it would be for an NFL player to make it to the NBA. You're so lying. Like he's he's lying. He's wrong. 
it's uh, easier for an NBA player to play in the NFL than it is the other way around. Yeah. Well, they get yo, they get like, injured I'm first like, snap. I'm like, that's <laughs> a little. You seen you have seen a lot of players in the comments on Twitter and stuff. So they're like soft. <laughs> You're not playing. And because like, with that debate, I'm like, I don't think neither one could play in either sport. Um, I agree with that. I'm trying to like because his thing was like, who's more likely to do that? NFL players or NBA players mm-hmm. to switch sports. I'm I'm it's, thinking about it. It's like you can play, but you won't be successful. There was, there, there won't be a successful NBA player. I seen an old video. I'm not gonna hold you. I saw an old video of Randy Moss today on Instagram. Mm-hmm. He was nice. And yeah, you know he, he, <laughs> he was did both he, too, right? He, he played. So. Uh, he played. He played high school with uh, Jason Williams, and he went to a lot of those big basketball um, uh, camps, like with uh, Paul. I mean, with uh, Kevin Garnett and all of them. But he even said, like, yo, playing against them, I knew I wasn't that. I knew I wasn't it. <laughs> they was at a different level than where I was. Think about how Calvin Johnson would have done in the NBA. 6'5". He's like a he, – he, he's like a – he'd be, had to play, like, shooting guard. There's, like, shoot, there's like point yeah. guard. There's, like, point guard that's totally in him. He would have been doing some Anthony Edwards stuff. <laughs> I guarantee you that. <laughs> I promise you that. I don't know about that. Cal- Mega- this dude was nicknamed Megatron. You trying to tell me he couldn't – you know who I think had you know who I think had you know who I think has like potential like that could probably play. I would go with somebody like Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs seemed like somebody who could play like as a, as a point as a, as a small point guard, like a Chris Paul type. I feel like a lot of receivers and running backs could play basketball. It's like yeah, a yeah, seamless transition. The most I'm like, like I'm like the like, I'm trying to think of somebody who like was like actually talented enough to play both. LeBron. Nah, he was nice at you know, football. You know, you know. Actually, I got the answer. Of who I think was talented enough to play both, sport, both probably make it pro at both. This is probably a name that like not to me. Terrell Pryor. The reason I mean, why he did play like three positions in the NFL. No, no. The reason why I said Terrell Pryor <laughs> is because the fact that when he was in high school, he was one of the top basketball players and mm-hmm. one of the top football players coming out. <laughs> LeBron was too, though. Yeah, LeBron would have. Yeah. LeBron really was like, Colleges wanted him for football. I seen I seen LeBron highlight tape in football. My son was running routes like the kid from All American. <laughs> oh, it didn't wow. look too it didn't look too much different from what Darren Waller been doing for the last five years. I mean, nah, Darren Waller got Darren Waller got some shake off the line, getting into his move. He he has a product of route. <laughs> so you're telling me LeBron James, if he didn't like specialize in that, wouldn't be a nice route runner? LeBron James. I don't think so. Corey, what? stop. The like him, Serena Williams, all those guys. All, um, I'm thinking of other athletes like Freak of Nature. Um, but he's in that upper echelon, like top one percent. You're mm-hmm. telling me if he specialized in football, trained for it, practiced every day, he wouldn't be a nice route runner. Nah, that's crazy. He, he, that's, he just, that's, he just, crazy. Yeah, that's wild. That's crazy, yo. It's something about like cer- like the way he, the way he's, the way he's. I see him like as far as like when he was, especially when he was in high school. As far as like his route running there, a lot of those guys who are bigger, they kind of are hard to adjust when it comes to route running like that. <laughs> Have you Corey, seen him chase off, the It was high on school. Court. It was high school, Corey. You give him four years in college football. I think he, his route running would be a little different. Have you seen him change direction on a basketball court? Basketball and football, two different things. Yeah. Man. You, 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 it's like. I'm trying to think. Sure, bro. He just has to play devil's advocate. There's never like I one was, agreement. I was just about to say that. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, the fact that I just don't think he would be. I don't think he would be. I don't think he. There's a chance. You know what? I'll, I'll agree with you. There's a chance that he could be a great route runner. Well, I guess you can possibly. Well, there's a chance I might sleep with Mila Kunis tomorrow. I mean, there's yeah. a chance for it. It's oh, a, a small chance. It's like, you know? a small yeah. chance. But. Like a, that's like a double, double zero, right? <laughs> Dude, you're trying to play me. Don't, don't start with me, Corey. Let's just, <laughs> don't start with me. You don't I think I'll have a shot? I ain't say, look. I mean, she got Ashton Kutcher, so. Yeah, that's like a, that's a million. He doesn't wash his legs. I think I got that. But what? The, but the boys, the boys. <laughs> he doesn't. The boys that's got, like, that's a fact? The boys got yeah. money, though. They talk about it. Yeah, you know. Well, I guess she's okay it's with a, that. Certain people that, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, certain people that, 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 that think washing <laughs> isn't a, necess- a necessity. I mean, Charles Barkley apparently thinks it's a necessity. So. Him, he be in the sport. What did he say? He be in the, uh, the steam room? Nah, not even that. He was talking about on Inside the NBA this week that he once lost a bar of soap in the shower. What? 
What's Think about it. He lost a bar of soap in the shower. Mm. Now, how 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 would that happen? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to think like you. you exactly. gonna... <laughs> ding ding ding, ding ding ding. Exactly. Soapy booty. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Charles. That's why he ain't win no championship. <laughs> this man is six five four fifty. First off, washcloths, washcloths, washcloths. Yo, right? but like. A whole like bar of soap. So, a bar of soap is like mad wide. No, I'm like, why is he wait? sticking that there? <laughs> why? I'm like, we're why? losing it at like. <clears throat> what do you mean? We're losing recipes. It's it's going. Nah, you, you can't. You ain't. Nah, you know he plays that with. He's a two way player. Nah, nah, bro, trust. That's wild, yo. That is wild. How you just going? They they just let those dudes on inside the NBA do anything, bro. Truly. Nah, that's really wild. Like I, it's it, it's. <laughs> It's crazy. I remember this class. And that's not that's what Draymond's right. doing. Draymond is bracing. Yeah. And, Draymond jo- bracing. and Joker, instead of going around him, he's just banging and banging and banging. When a guy's banging you, you don't you spin off of him. He knows. That was the worst defenders to play. That that's a. We can't forget about this one. <laughs> uh, speaking of common. I want to talk about. Whoa! <laughs> Yo, <laughs> just, they're so inappropriate, Josh. They just, I mean, they they let those dudes. Like, this do is anything. a professional hey, they industry. Need to, they need to give my boy Nico a job up there. <laughs> Yo, they could not handle me. <laughs> oh, Nico! Oh, ne- 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 gonna get the show. Okay, when we get our serious ne- XM show, we'll be fine. Okay? Oh, ne- oh, oh, that's still oh, on the table. Oh yeah, yeah I'm, I'm waiting for that because when he when he gets <laughs> every other every word about to be. Uh, uh, FCC. Hey, you only hear the most foul things on that show. <laughs> we'll have like three days straight just where going through the whole Osama Bin Laden thing. Wow. That's happening. <laughs> Does it make no, sense? Look, look, look. No sports whatsoever. Maybe like a minute. No, no. You see, sports comedy. That's what, that's what I specialize in. He's right about that. Moves the needle. Corey, uh, you had to answer to my question about Randall. He's playing. <laughs> I think he plays. I think he plays. I think he plays. Game but one. I feel like, like I said, like I, I, I wasn't always believing in the start of the season, but I've come around. But the team, uh, it, it, it runs through Jalen Brunson. It, 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 it's him. I feel like, Jaylen, I feel like Jaylen, if, 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 Rand, if Randall does play, he could be an excellent complimentary player. The one person who I feel like needs to step up. If he's playing, is R.J. Barrett. That's the obvious one. That's that's it he right there. It. But and I and I think that for like if you're going against the Cavs, I feel like yes, Donovan Mitchell can go off at any game. He can go off at any game and, and beat you in a plethora of styles, whether it be from the three or going inside. I feel like the person who you got to stop is a guy like Darius Garland. You can't let him get off. You he stunk against the Knicks this year, though. He's, yeah. He hasn't been good I've in seen, four games. I've seen the Knicks a little bit in the head game. Hey, I, I just, I like what you said about, obviously, R.J. Barrett. I'm going to get into that in a little bit. But Jalen Brunson, he's going to be the lead guy. And I know Julius Randle averaged the most points on the Knicks this year. But we all know the playoffs. We saw it last year with Jalen Brunson when he was in Dallas. By the way, outplayed Donovan Mitchell in five games, I just, six games. I, I just, that happened. I just can't let another... Trey Young, Atlanta Hawks situation happened. Like I need nah, y'all. It's, it's I need y'all. Thing. I need y'all to fight. It's not the same thing. I'll I tell you y'all. why. I'll tell you why. Number one, there's no Alfred Payton. Number two, there's no Reggie Bullock. Number three, think about like Emmanuel quickly. Think about Quentin Grimes, their development. Think about guys like Obi Toppin getting better with more playing time. I, w- I want to see what he's gonna do in, those pl- in these playoffs with given in given minutes. Just in, if Randall doesn't play. I want to see what Obi Toppin does to step up. The Cavs front line is tough with if, with um Allen and Mobley, but I believe in him. If you if if you if you see a a vast improvement from Obi Toppin in these playoffs, you can sit the next in this offseason. season. Hey Randall, hey. hey Randall, hey whatever we can get for you, it is what it is. You know this 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 is a business. I'll just say this, and I know it's the playoffs, and we're trying to be present with the New York Knicks, but this off season, everything. Besides Jalen Brunson is on the table. Yeah, I didn't think that about I, like coming into the season. I didn't think that about uh, RJ, but yeah, RJ. It's crazy that and always, he'd be the first to get traded too. It, it's crazy that the person who's the most successful out of that, like that, that, that those top three might be Ja. Well, if he puts the guns down, yeah, but <laughs> he's. He, 
Yeah. It wasn't. He his, obviously you know. the most productive player out of the two. <laughs> no, out of the, he, he obviously the most productive player out of the three. Well, obviously, yeah. I mean, R.J. Barrett you, picked right after John Moran. It's kind of hard to believe in hindsight. You got you got Zion out here doing th- doing windmill dunks in play in the pregame. Like, yeah, I can't play. He giving me Ben. Sim- he giving me Ben Simmons vibes. Yeah, we need a three hour show if you want to hear all my thoughts on that situation. <laughs> but listen, R.J. Barrett, Zion one, Ja two, R.J. three. That was the order in 2019. Obviously, we didn't get a chance to get Zion. We didn't even get the second uh, overall pick. R.J. Barrett, we know he has to step up. But Jalen Brunson, I think, I got him pegged for 30 points per game this series. I really do. I think the Cavs, Garland, Mitchell, they have nobody for him. They have nobody to guard Jalen Brunson. There's no chance they can guard that man. He ha- he owns plenty of real estate in spite of his head because Jalen Brunson has dominated Donovan Mitchell the last, what, six, seven, eight times they've played? Really the last ten times they've played. So you got to take that into account. I feel great, and I'm going to ask y'all for the the series prediction in a little bit. But I feel great. I I, I don't think this is a, a a similar situation where, yes, the Cavs have the best player, and if you stack up their top four against the Knicks top four, the Cavs have the better top four. But the death of the New York Knicks, the bench, that bench mob with Josh Hart in there now, ooh, you see, it's what, not even close. You see, Josh, you see what Josh, you see what Josh Hart, you see what Josh Hart left in the Donald Mitchell comments. Mm-hmm. A few, yeah. <laughs> so he got that real New York attitude with him. This can't, I feel like, yeah, I feel like we're gonna step up. I feel like we, I, I think we got a legit chance to advance. I think they have a legit chance to like go all the way. I don't see why not. The talent is a question, but if you I look at the way they've played the, the second mm-hmm. half, they've been a top. Six, seven team in the NBA the entire second half of the season, especially since they got Josh Hart. We've seen this team compete with everybody. They beat Boston. They beat Denver. They've competed with all the top teams that you see in the league right now. They beat the Lakers. The Lakers are playing good ball right now. Mm-hmm. People like them to win a championship. Truthfully, I think the only team that I would be scared of in the East, Milwaukee. But that's it. Definitely. That's Mil- it. Milwaukee's the one team I'm like, I have the most doubt that we... we we can't beat them. Boston, give me Boston. Well, it's not going to work out that way. Because if we move on, we're going to play Milwaukee in all likelihood. But I would have loved to play Boston. I would have loved to play Philly. Oh, I would have loved to play Philly. Whoo! Doc Rivers disaster class on the way. You, you feel like, that would have happened. You feel like it's a disaster class? I'm, I, uh, I'm not going to lie. Like, outside of the Knicks, I'm going to say this might be country. Your Philly's my pick to take it all. Philly. Mm. Damn. Truthfully, I don't trust any team that has James Harden. That's just me, though. That's just like a personal a thing. I don't, I don't trust I feel, any team. I feel like it's either, it's, either, it's either boom or bust right now from this season. And if they don't, I feel like James is going back to uh, Houston. He's going, he's going to take I think it. they'll be fine. <laughs> they'll be <laughs> fine without him. Hey, one thing I'll say about James Harden, well, two things. Number one, he's on a contract year. So if he mm. wants his money, if he wants the bag, if he wants the max contract, mm. he's got to play well. Number two, he struggled in the playoffs with Houston because that was all they had. It was the James Harden show, dribble, 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 mm-hmm. dribble, 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 that's all it was. Step back. <laughs> Step back, like, oh, yeah, that's all it was. So you look at it now, Tyrese Maxey can score, and you have the, the league-leading scorer in Joel Embiid, who's probably going to win the MVP. So his role's different. All he really has to do is be a facilitator and control the game. That's why I'm, I'm higher on Philly than most, but I wouldn't pick them over Milwaukee, though. No. I wouldn't. Mm-mm. I just got, I, I don't know I feel like it's jo- I feel like it's Joel's year I feel like it's Joel's year he's getting I believe he's getting MVP oh he's definitely getting MVP yep should not even be a debate you never know <laughs> nah you seen what happened with uh, he is the most see, valuable see, player to his team you seen what happened with Paolo, um, Paolo uh, Vincero <sighs> you know what's close, crazy close yo to, he was close to being unanimous one rookie vote of off. Year. one vote off Analytics change people. <laughs> <laughs> the dude voted for what? I think his name was Wade Kessler. Walker Kessler. He Walker. voted for his own guy in his own market. It's always Utah. Why is it always Utah? And then I was like, I don't know why. Like looking at up. Looking <laughs> why is it always Utah? At, looking that up, I was like, I was directed to the Shaq incident of <laughs> 2001, where he won. I think when he won, the, he was supposed to win an unanimous MVP as well. But this one guy that said, uh, you know what? History, making history. I'm good. Give that. Give, let me get my vote in for Allen Iverson. Yo, you know that like Looney Tunes thing where they were sawing off the state of Florida. 
Yeah. That's what we need to do with Utah. Get Utah out of my face. I, I don't respect nothing or nobody from there. It's an irrelevant state. You, mm-hmm. wasn't, you wasn't thinking about going to the Utah All-Star game? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the most boring. Ha. I was like, I was like, you know, you know, you know, Utah was born when Cleveland, even Cleveland's All-Star <laughs> game was a little lit. <laughs> Oh. Had also, Adam Silver's over. Yo, Adam, yo, get this Slenderman Humpty Dumpty out my face, bro. Get him out my an All Star game in Utah. Why? I feel like they owed. Why? Him, I feel like I feel like they had a situation like we owed we owed him one. We I don't think we ever going back there. Ever he has again. a small market fetish. Utah, Cleveland, Char- Why? New York, Cleveland, not Cleveland. Toronto, Los Angeles, Phoenix, Miami, Atlanta. Yo, keep it simple. We don't need All Star games in Utah. We really don't. Y'all heard that too, right? Yeah. What was that? I thought it was going crazy because I kept hearing it. Like a bunch of pipes. Oh, maybe Mario's here. What's the word? What's the word? Why are you guys laughing? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, so funny. No, no reason. No? <laughs> no reason. You guys think short Italian men are funny? Is that <laughs> what? Wait, wait. You guys don't like what? plumbers? Mario's a goat. He's a goat? I said he's a goat. He's mm-hmm. one, of the, like, one of the best I three. think Luigi's better. You personally think Luigi's better? Yeah, you know that's what? your cup of tea. You know, Yo, it's like Phineas and Ferb, right? Ferb's about. the better one. You know why? <laughs> I know. I get why you like. Because no matter what, you ain't. The, I just, yeah, Nico, I get why you like Luigi. Because you're a player two character. Okay. You're not, you, you'll never be. You'll <laughs> wow. never be. You'll okay. never be. You'll never be the main guy. You're always number two. Mm. <laughs> Does that make you number three? The, oh, who, what on Warrior? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. that's where you are. <laughs> You're Mario. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> you recall, you really call was... Nico an NPC. <laughs> Stop, man. That really hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> you, said, you said I like you said I like Luigi. Did I think wait, who else did you say? You he, said he, he pulls. You, I mean, said, you said another person, didn't you? Like Phineas and Ferb. Oh, you said two. Who's better? You said two players. <laughs> yeah, yeah, who's better? <laughs> Ferb. He pulled. He pulled so many. He didn't say a word. <laughs> Yo, he had that silent race for real. <laughs> but you know who was the leader of the group. Who don't was... matter who the leader. Who's pulling? Who What's the point of being the leader if you're not pulling? Yo, that silent race was, yeah, I, I got to. He got a smart daughter, right? Yeah. She was bad as hell. <laughs> she really was. <laughs> I, was, uh, I, was I was like. Cartoon yeah. crush for real. <laughs> Her and, uh, you know, Lilo's uh, sister. Nina? Yo, she was bad as hell. You know, get off, to- get off, to- get off topic. Get off topic. You know how you, you like to get off topic? Y'all heard about who they, they, who they thinking about, like, considering for, like, a live action role? Cool. For Nina? Yeah. They yeah, do. I don't like it. Yeah. Wait, who? <laughs> she ugly. I'll show yeah. you. They, 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 oh. look, let's just put it like this. It ain't a Pacific Islander. <laughs> uh, nah, she's part native, though. Sick work. It's messed up, man, because they could have done so many could, great things got with you, that. You could have got you a nice Samoan actor. It probably, it'd probably fit the I role. I wish I was Samoan. Off topic. But. I wish I was Samoan. They, they, That's a great culture. Yeah, they they know how to fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, we ought to see the Barbie movie. Like, like, you you have you have you have you have <laughs> seen you ever seen you ever heard of a situation of Samoan losing a fight? <laughs> That's her. Huh. That was a decision. <laughs> yeah. She bad as hell. The yeah. cartoon. Yeah. She better get in that tanning booth. They were from ten to two. I don't like that. She she better get in that tanning salon. Not a fan. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, speak, speaking of fine, uh, the new Ice Spice uh, Nicki Minaj video. You guys watch it? I didn't watch it. I keep seeing gifts though on Twitter, and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm heard a about, fan. <laughs> did you see? Did you see this thing? This controversy about AI music? Yo, nah, <laughs> this is getting. We going too yeah, far with I the did. AI now. No, the artificial it. intelligence. I nah, know, I'm scared. We I'm fighting now. We listened to I, Kanye West yesterday singing, uh, rapping an Indian song. It was yeah. AI. That's <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we got too far, time man. Out, time out. I ain't gonna hold you. It was a couple of tracks. I was like, they're tough. Fu- I was like, yo, the Rihanna cover the Tims is remi- <laughs> yo. I was like, this. I was like, I gotta find out who did that because I need, I need that song in my playlist. Kanye West covering Justin Bieber was actually all right. Hey man, nah, we gone too far. Listen, but where, we- but where I drew the line at? Where I drew the line at was when you had Drake covering Ice Spice. I was like, nah. The- <laughs> The boys are Leah. <laughs> the like the, boys are Leah. Nah, they had, no, they had him covering. They had him covering Munch. <laughs> <laughs> I said nah. Yo, wait, that's even, mad funny, crazy, yo. Like, and even Drake, even Drake, even Drake had to repost something. And say, nah, <laughs> this, is, this is going too far with AI. 
He a eater. He ate it for lunch. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I had to give myself the buzzer on that one. <laughs> I had to give myself the buzz on that one. Paul, hey, yo, you, y'all know the deal. Listen, we got, <laughs> what, five minutes left in the show? Six minutes, seven minutes? Mm-hmm. Hey, don't give no station business away. A station business. Yo, before you know it, they're going to have a, a WHBC AI sports talk. <laughs> so, Oh, I'm I, so I, setting I, that I'm up. Not, I'm not, not going to lie. You could probably do that. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. 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 Actually, no. that might I be think, the move this summer. I think. I think. Uh, Drew, <laughs> that might be the. Move. I think. Drew, I think Drew Carey, like he did something like that where he he hosts the podcast. Yeah. And for like I think the first fifteen minutes or like the first twenty, he said, "I'm just gonna do all AI." He just did all AI to cover his voice and everything. Yeah, hey, we gone too he far. He just wrote the script. It's actually, uh, you know, Joe Rogan, his podcast. Yeah. Someone made an AI Joe Rogan podcast with a guest. It was insane. Yo, the it rabbit, sounded just like him. The <laughs> rabbit hole I'm about to fall down with Yo, all this stuff is crazy. All I know, AI all, all is I, wild, all I know is we got the play. We have this playbook. There's many of movies that give you the playbook of what can happen if if, if one day we wind up <laughs> in a Skynet Terminator type situation. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna we we had the answers, way we had the answers. <laughs> we had the answers. <laughs> but no, we still want to be stupid. Hey, man. Let's just see it's how bad far, out here, let's, yo. Let's see Someone's how gotta take out Elon. I see, think that's no, the issue. Elon don't like it. Elon is yeah, he lying? Elon, <laughs> no, because you what? know he made that. No, nah, I, nah, no, nah. Elon. I think is very. I think there's a lot of people like him that are very not up like for AI because I feel like if, if AI gets smart enough, they they can find probably. I feel like if if you get an AI that's smart enough, he can find secrets that he that he's not supposed to find. Like he can go into like maybe, maybe, but like I feel like, like people like Elon, if there's a way to make money in it, he's down. That's a fact. That's a fact. I mean, look what he's doing with uh, Twitter.com. All right, listen, five minutes left. Rapid fire. Give me your predictions. Knicks, Cavs. Who we got? How many games? You know Knicks and five. You know we're going Knicks all day, every day. Actually, not nah, Knicks sweep. Knicks, Knicks sweep. Knicks sweep. Are you bold with it? I'm excited I, for tomorrow night. Nixon six. Nixon six. Net Sixers tomorrow. Net, you said <laughs> one who, p.m. You said Net Sixers. Is that net, one p.m. Yup. These day games are stupid. Who we got? Sixers. You, you know, know what? Nets. Nets with the upset. You know what? That's what. I got Ben Simmons coming out the tunnel like nah, it, bro. like MJ in, in, in space. <laughs> like I'm here. <laughs> I'm ready. I was gonna get on the court and just go straight on all fours. I can. I'm waiting for it. That's what's oh. happening. Nets are uh, going to take game one, but they'll lose in five. Six oh, and nine. Spencer. Spencer. Nah, oh, Dinwiddie. Joel, Joel about to give him up. Spence, a, a, give me that Dinwiddie. Joel, Joel, <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> Ayo. Whoa. <laughs> well, I didn't say Ayo. that. Ayo. You're right. You're right. Ayo. That was right. me. All I know is Joel about to sub- be a, a nice 40 piece for him. Nico. What's up? Rangers Devils. Yeah. Talk to me. Who we got? I'm terrified. Oh, man. That's how I feel. Mm-hmm. Um, um, mm-hmm. I want the Rangers to win. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me who's gonna win. Ain't no want. Tell me who's gonna win. The Rangers are gonna win. <laughs> Why you don't sound confident? I don't. Nah, the Devils. Actually, nah. The Mahi thinks is still alive and well. I'm not gonna go there, but the Rangers do have a great chance. They do. And we, when we talked about it, all five teams: Knicks, Nets, Rangers, Devils, Islanders, all mm-hmm. making the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Hasn't happened since 1994. Mm-hmm. What happened in 1994? No, the Rangers won the Stanley Cup. Oh, I thought I was going to say the O.J. Simpson car chase. Oh, that too. That was fun. Yeah. Was that like the same month? It was literally during the I think it was the, the same month. It was during the NBA Finals. <laughs> yeah. They took the NBA Finals off air to show the world the O.J. car chase. Worth it. It definitely was worth it. No, nah, uh, I got the Rangers though. I'm going to take the Rangers in six. All right. Uh, I hope they get it done in four. If not, I might... Have a heart attack, but uh, we'll see. Game one's on Tuesday. The Islanders play the Hurricanes in round one, and I hope the, I hope the Islanders win so we can go face the Islanders around two because that'll be fun. Oh yeah, that's food. But we probably lose that, and then uh, yeah, then my summer's over. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, if you're more optimistic than Nico each over here. I'm not, I don't blame you. It's a it's an important time. It's a big time in New York sports right now. Five teams in the playoffs. We're gonna watch over the next couple of months. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. it's not done in a week. <laughs> I'd be imagine. 
Imagine that, yo. Imagine I mean, we would just cancel sports talk until like something happens in MLB. Imagine <laughs> the Knicks, Nets, and Islanders all losing, and the Rangers lose to the Devils. That would no, no, what? Don't, 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 don't speak that you. You know what's gonna don't happen? Speak, though. Don't speak that. Nah, speak the, that Yomahi Jinx is real. He just he solidified it. Look what he did. Look what oh, look what I did. <sighs> it's always you. Look what I did. It's always you. It's always me, huh? Ah. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll take the brunt of it. I'll take the blame. It's all good. Final thoughts. What we got? Sports weekend. Mm. What, what, what are we looking at? NBA what? playoffs? Any other series interest you? NFL Sacramento, news? yo. That, that Kings Warriors, that's going to be fun. That, that's going to be a that's, madhouse that's, in there, That's going to be interesting. I'm just ready to see this. I'm ready to see this. I want to see I'm, I want to see the LeBron James versus Memphis Grizzlies part t- uh, 2. I want to see. Because you remember that video that was circulating where he was like looking at um, Desmond Bain? He's like, you got one more time to do what she like. He was cursed. He was like, "I'm tired of being bl-. like." He was like, he was get. LeBron was getting mad at the at the Grizz, at the Grizzlies. So I really want to see what's gonna happen with them, especially with uh, Stephen Adams not playing. I really hope the Grizzlies just whoop LA. Yeah, I do. I want them to I kinda, sweep them. I kind of do too, because I just want to see. I just want because yo, everybody is really on the Lakers right now. You got Kendrick Perkins mm-hmm. not even giving the Memphis Grizzlies a shot. I'm like all these all the LeBron drones and in, in the media like they going at they they you know they hyping that train. I'm like yeah this is the year that the Lakers gonna win the championship. Nah, no, bro. brother. You know what? They have a chance when they have LeBron James. Do you have a chance? It's interesting. The NBA playoffs is about to be like yo. First off, these NBA playoffs is about to be like nothing we've ever seen. I promise you that. Oh yeah, you know you know I'm about to put a little couple things on them on a couple games. Yeah, I'm I'm about to go broke for a next playoff ticket. <laughs> Y'all heard it here first. I ain't gonna lie. You gonna do it? I'm gonna do you it. You gonna go broke? I'm being cheap seats. <laughs> Damn, cheap, cheap seats? The cheap garden seats are like five hundred. April? <laughs> nah, cheap seats. You all, funny? I'm gonna be all, all the way in the back. You gonna be outside the garden? <laughs> hey. I might be. <laughs> you should just get a job there so you can just work the games. Hey man, whether we're there or not, not when you're watching reps. on TV, sports bar at the game, we can't wait. Whew, big weekend up ahead, but for now, we're going to call it a show on Sports Talk. Thank you for Nico Weech and Corey David. Joshua Imahi signing off. Thank you once again for listening to the Voice of Nassau Community College. 90.3 WHPC. Have a great weekend. The views expressed on air are not necessarily those of WHPC, its management, or Nassau Community College. Responsible opposing viewpoints will be considered by emailing them to whpc at ncc.edu or by mail at whpc One Education Drive, Garden City, New York, 11530. Thanks for listening to The Voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. This show on 90.3 WHPC is brought to you by The Irish Poet, a restaurant and bar located at 1891 Wanto Avenue in Wanto. Our motto is... You come as a stranger, but leave as a friend. Hi, I'm Mike McNeff. I'm one of the owners of The Irish Poet. Our menu includes appetizers, burgers, tacos, and Irish favorites like fish and chips, shepherd's pie, and Irish spring rolls. We also provide a kid's menu. Our banquet room can cater for events up to 70 people. Or you can catch all the games in one of our 20 TVs. More information is available at 516-588-1891 or on our website, theirishpoetny.com. This show on 90.3 WHPC is brought to you by the Long Island Herald, your source for local news. Find out what's happening in your hometown at liherald.com. Got a story to tell? You can call the Long Island Herald at 516-569-4000. WHPC is brought to you by the original Pantanos Gourmet. Now with four Long Island locations in Hewlett, Garden City Park, Hempstead Turnpike, and Uniondale, and now open...